Hi, good morning. It's 11 o'clock. I'm getting ready for my uh, Nana's birthday dinner. Um, and I just thought I'd make a video about it and kind of take you guys along because um, I'm lonely. <laughs> and um, to give you like a behind the scenes look on, I don't know, my life, my, my, my routine. I've already staggered out of bed and given the cats a handful of dry bickies and um, made myself a coffee, so. And I had a shower. Not a usual part of my morning routine. Much prefer to have a shower at night. Because I get so tired when I've had a shower. Probably as a result of training myself to have showers at night all the time. I don't know. Just rambling. I'm so tired. I've been like cleaning and tidying this house so that it's okay for Nana to come into. And um, the living room's looking alright. The living portion. The um, kitchen is looking really terrible, but if you had seen it before I started all this uh, cleaning and tidying, then you would be like, wow. And my bedroom is still not great. Um, here's the thing I found. Let's put the old hair up. Oh. Moisturizer. I feel like I'm getting a cold again. It's probably because my nutrition is very bad. I'm trying to feed myself and... I mean... Let's be honest, I don't really feed myself for nutrition purposes. I do it because otherwise I get real mad. Uh, okay. Moisturized. Now, I'm gonna do my eyes first because this stuff just spills. I'm trying to be a little bit quiet because I don't know if my neighbors are awake yet. It's Sunday morning, 11 o'clock. They should be, but um, I wouldn't be if I didn't have to. So I've got like a white thing, 24 hour Maybelline thing. I'm just going to pat that up here. The dress I'm wearing is so cool, it looks like a patchwork quilt. Oh my god, I'm tired just doing this. Crikey. I've been real tired lately because, um... Um... Because I have depression, it kind of takes it out of you. God, I look wiped out. I am wiped out. This isn't even a funny one. I don't even know why I'm... Filming this. Except that, um, oh, this is gold, by the way. This is a nice gold, um, which I'm putting on my lid. I really just want to talk to you guys, you know. Um, I have not yet sung the Good Morning Train song on YouTube. Uh, I'll do it when I've... Um, had more people reply, maybe, and maybe some wines or something, because my voice is incredibly not cool. Which isn't the point of the good morning song. Like, you're not... You don't want to hear it because I'm this amazing singer. You want to hear it because it's, like, absurd. And you want to laugh at me having to do it. Um, for a bunch of kids. Early childcare work was actually pretty good. Um, but some days it was not so good. My mum was incredible at it though. She was so gifted. Like, watching her work was so humbling. <coughs> oh, grief sneeze. Um, oh, that was some 
you know, some bronze, whatever. She just totally understood children in a way that I think very few people do. I'm going to try and put a little bit of white on the rims of my eyes because I look friggin' naked. Mm. No, I just look like I have a weird disease. That's cool. Oh, I dropped my concealer. This is terrible. Oh, okay. So I've done my eyes. You, you can't see any difference, but there is a difference. Hang on. Eh? Yeah, you can't see shit. I'm so sorry. Blah, blah, blah. Concealer. I'm putting it on my nose. And a bit under my eyes. Oh. And where my skin is not so good today. This isn't even a tutorial, it's just me talking to you. Without any clear plan of actually what to say or anything. This is one of those days where I really just want to conceal my entire face. Um, but I'm not going to because it always actually looks bad. And um, I feel like people are going to probably take photos today. Oh god, I'm still so naked. Uh, yep, I live in town now, so um, uh, which is really cool because I get to go. You know, I can just walk anywhere I want to go, so that's that's awesome. But also, I get to hear the students coming home at four in the morning. Night before last at about past four, somebody was banging really hard on a door trying to get in. And like, I woke up and thought it was my door and I was all freaked out because um, I'm just so used to living in, um, not rural areas, but semi-rural areas, you know. And, uh, so that was fun. And then the cat woke me up at nine and I mean, I'll get used to it. And the students will stop going out so much when they um, have to buckle down to work a little bit more. I hope. Oh god, it's St. Patrick's Day tomorrow, isn't it? No, not tomorrow. Tuesday. That is going to be fun for them. St. Patrick's Day is such a piece of shit. Like when you're 17 or 18 or whenever you start... Um, being able to legally drink or semi-legally drink. And if you can go out to pubs anyway. Um, St. Patrick's Day is amazing because it's like everyone just gets as trashed as possible and it's the coolest thing you can even imagine at that age. Uh, drunkenness is so encouraged right now. And um, you do that for a couple years. And then it's like this is actually kind of hell. Although I do still love Halloween, but I love Halloween for the costumes. I had a sweet witch costume last year, which was pretty much just my normal clothes. Um, and some darker makeup, and I handed out lollies to some of the kids coming up the road. Um, you know, when they came to the house, I didn't go into the road and say, hello child, would you like some lollies? Um, so that was nice. Um, one year me and some friends did like a mighty boosh thing and I was Vince Noir. It was kind of a shitty low effort Vince, I can't remember why not more effort went in that year, but um, must have been something going on. And one of my friends was the spirit of jazz, and um, looking back, I don't really know how to feel about that, but I do know that he was absolutely terrifying. Okay. Do you know 
what my favourite Halloween costume was. I am. Um... Hang on, can't talk eyeliner. That's cool. That's cool. We'll just smudge the line around with some powder. Oh, it'll be fine. I mean, my favourite Halloween party, my friend Lee. She used to throw the most amazing theme parties. Lee and Tori, they were sisters. Well, they still are. They're still alive. Um, and they're both through these amazing parties. And one year, I uh, hand sewed, like, the cheerleader's outfit from Heroes, which was so cool because um, I had just joined up with a competitive cheerleading team, and we the, the morning after that, we were driving up to Auckland for Nationals. Everyone gets to go to nationals in New Zealand because this is New Zealand. Um, and it was so great. It was such a good night, even though I had to go home about midnight because, you know, I had an eight-hour drive in the morning and then competition. But, man, I had a good time. And it was a great outfit. I still have it somewhere. Uh, this doesn't really fix the mistake. Um, another good Halloween was actually the Vince Noir Halloween, the, the Mighty Bruce Halloween was quite good because we all went in a, a group and um and just got wildly drunk at an age when that was still really really fun. Actually, I can't talk. I got wildly drunk earlier this year, but and it was really fun. But um and you know we ended up like the last thing I remember is knocking back champagne and. I don't know who got us champagne and chasing somebody's wig down the road. It's not a party to be chasing somebody's wig in my opinion. Even just like a normal party. Another good one was, I was 18, it was my first year at uni. And um, I had, again, hand sewn because I don't have a machine and I'm not machinally inclined, mechanically inclined. Um, so I'd hand sewn this medieval dress and like just a, uh, what would you call it, just a, a kirtle, like a late 12th century kirtle. Just that. There, there was no, like, overdress or anything. Um, and I had a wimple made out of... Oh, no, it wasn't a wimple. It was a veil. I had, like, the ribbon coming underneath, ribbon going over there, and the veil was pinned on in a big circle. And it actually looked really cool. The dress itself was made of the cheapest fabric I could find because I needed, like, six metres of it. And I was a student. But my veil was linen. <laughs> it was like the dumbest thing to be wearing out on a night where everyone just competes to, um, you know, show off their muscles or their, um, the rest of their bodies or whatever. But I had a lovely time in it. I absolutely loved it. I lost it a long time ago. feeling like I find it places, but I actually don't. Oh, I had so many good Halloweens. But yeah, St. Patrick's Day is like a real budge Halloween. Where you're only allowed to dress as one thing and it's like a racist stereotype of an Irish person. Okay, 
a little bit of mascara. I'm probably not even going to upload this because it's really boring and and I don't want to be boring to you guys, but um, if you want to hear my weird accent, then that's cool. Uh, I'll show you some shout outs to some people so you can hear your name on YouTube forever. This is really dumb, it makes like I'm kind of a celebrity or something. Um, okay. Right. Uh, I'm not even gonna, am I gonna put powder on? Oh, there is no point. No, there's no point in powder today. But I will put some blush on because there's always a point to blush. Um, so, okay, who's been favouriting me very recently? Hello to the Chili Wrecker. <laughs> it's the Chili Wrecker. Uh, hello to Magret's Horse. Um, sorting Song, obviously. Spanish Announce Table. Announce Table. <laughs> no, you bet. Uh, hello, Fox Spiders. Hello, Apple Watch Parody. Hello, Alex Dunn. Hi, Tally, my sister. Hello, Tally. Hi, Team Mom. Oh, hi, Henri. That's her daughter. Um, hi, The Pharaoh's Riddle. Hi, Jen Kosky. Hi, oh, Tally again. Mm. doing? I have to get ready. Yeah. Hi Russell Alter and Chop Logic. It's loading really slowly because I live in America. Hi Merman. I mean I don't live in America, I live in New Zealand. Hi Lee. Not my Lee, uh, a different Lee. Hi No Sex in 2015. This isn't my greeting the future that's like somebody's name. Um, hi, John Hollenbeck and Man from Holmes. Hi, Josh. Hi, Lion Princess. I love you. Hi, John V. Hi, Man from Holmes again. Drink, drink, drink. I don't know, man. You, you have too many letters. <sighs> oh, I can't be bothered with the rest of it. But anyway, thank you for helping me get ready. Um, sorry, this was really weird and abnormal and strange. And I'm sorry, I'm so lonely. I am sorry about that. Okay. Pretty, pretty. Well, light's shining right on my face. You can't even see my makeup. You can't even see. You can't see my nose or mouth like this. This is awesome. I do want you to actually be able to see my face when I say bye. 